right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody? Needs more drums back in City Skylines in Los Baterias, our region, in our city of Percussion. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a, a few different things, actually. So what I want to start with today is basically I want to fill in some of the gaps in the city. So we're kind of, as I'll show you in a minute here, we're kind of struggling for a lot of demand. So there's no significant demand in any one area. So I think this would be a good time to kind of, you know, maybe build out some of this area here, maybe some of the farmland, and then maybe detail up some of the some of the bigger parks that I wanna kind of keep open. And then this area right here, this is the bane of my existence. I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do with it. And we're gonna try it out and see if it works. And if not, then, oh well, we'll come back to it later. But like I said, this area is probably gonna change a little bit anyway. But uh, at least right here by this river, I think I have an idea of what I wanna do. So we'll come back to that in a bit. And yeah, I wanna kind of make this keep this open for later. So I don't really want to do any significant development here, but what I will do is make it into sort of a, a, a bigger park for now, maybe fill in some trees and kind of make it a little bit of a nature area uh, just for the time being until we expand out the city a little more. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So for this build, I am going to be leaving the game on play the entire time just because we're making some money and I don't want that to stop. So like I always say, when the game is paused, you are making no money. So might as well just keep the game playing. Yeah, so for now, what I want to start to do first is uh, kind of build out this, this Founders Park. And for this park, I think it would actually be cool to make this a, a real park and use some of the, uh, the Park Life DLC here. So let's go ahead and put down... Mm, do we need a big main gate? I don't know if we need one this big, but maybe we'll just use a small one. This is kind of, you know, still small area of development have a level one park unlocked awesome so, yeah, so we'll use that as a main gate and then we'll have let's see where we can place a couple little side gates here first of all i want to get rid of these power lines because these kind of look strange in the uh in the park all right so now we can place a little side gate along the road here i kind of like one there and actually i'd like to put one by the high school so let me go ahead and adjust this zoning Awesome. So we have that done. So now we can just drag out some of the pathways. And I like to stick with the, just kind of the regular path with none of the props, because then I kind of like, I prefer to go in and add my own props later. I think that'll be nice thing to do. Go to some kind of interesting there. That doesn't look too bad at all. And then we can kind of have some different go going around in some different directions here. Leave that area open for now. Yeah, and so I do always like to kind of have, uh, well, first I like to make a fence around the park area because that is, you know, usually pretty realistic. And so we'll go ahead and do this real quick. All right, cool. Now that we've got our fence in place, uh, we can go and keep expanding out our park area. So one thing that I do want to do too is, I said I wanted to keep this as sort of like a memorial to the founders of Cusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a, a little gravel path here, and this can kind of be sort of set the uh, set the tone for a monument, so to speak. It would also be cool to kind of have a little fence around here, maybe one of these old wooden looking ones. Don't want to destroy the house that I'm trying to protect. <laughs> Don't look too bad. That's cool. All right, awesome. So now we'll go back into our parks menu and kind of add some little uh, park assets that are really cool. Like I always like to use, you know, they have these cool restroom, this nice little restroom asset. 
very nice put this kind of in the middle here and then we can also have a park info booth maybe I'll put this closer to the um, the main gate it'll be a nice little way for people to get some info about the park and what's going on I do always like I know they have like a little cafe here yeah we'll, we'll, we'll do that too I always like this little cafe so we'll put this maybe at the end of the uh, one of these little squiggly roads in these park plazas put this right across from the bathroom that's always a that's a very good looking asset i really like those and that's pretty good for now so yeah i like to you know they have these the parks life dlc came with a bunch of great little assets so like these little flower beds these things are fantastic for uh you know really adding a nice little decoration so i'll put down a couple of these and i use these a lot of times just even in other areas of my city because they are so useful in so many different areas. And geez, there's already a crazy amount of people walking through our park. I don't really know why, because there's really nothing here yet. <laughs> but hey, I'm not going to complain. That is what we want. Jeez, we're already making, making money off of this. I did not, got to say, I did not expect that. Yeah, I'm really excited to detail this up a little bit because these parks are always, you know, having a few parks in your city is always super nice. And one thing that I like to do too is kind of make um, a few different kind of like cafe-ish areas. So, you know, maybe I'll put down some of these food stands here in a little in a little cart. That'll go ahead if go ahead and add a few little benches. Have ourselves a nice little little area where people can sit and relax and yeah i think that's a that's a really nice start for now since our entertainment value is already well above what we need it to be i'll leave this and then kind of go ahead and just add some trees for detail so since we have some of these nice uh, different kinds of tree assets here you know, i'll maybe experiment with some of these and see what what looks the best I love these pine trees. These are these are really nice. So I'll go ahead and add some of these, you know, kind of around the uh, the more main areas of the park, right on the outskirts there by the fences. And then we can use maybe a different kind of tree along this this wall here. Maybe one of the modded trees that I've downloaded. These pedemol trees are are very nice too. I like these a lot. What I like to do too, a lot of the times, is I'll add some nice little uh, sort of makeshift hedges, kind of drag out some bushes, you know, right along kind of the pathway here. These add a nice look, not along every path, but along some of them. You know, since this is kind of the main path here with the main gate, I'll add some around this, and then we'll go around the uh, the info booth there. That's looking pretty nice, and then maybe we can add some of these flower ones along this pathway here these are really really pretty give some nice little color to the area oh well, we've already reached level two <laughs> too bad we don't have any any area for a pier so we're not going to do anything with that but yeah i would like to go ahead and add some more uh, some smaller trees maybe around here since this is kind of the uh the main attraction of the park right here it would be nice to beautify this area a little bit I'll go ahead and add maybe some a couple of bigger trees as well so maybe some of these that one yeah yeah we'll keep that go ahead and add some of these around the park and then i like too when they have these planters in the um within the the assets these are nice because i can just kind of fill these in of my own and it helps really make that area kind of pop give it some nice little detail even these new vanilla bushes look fantastic and these are actually some of my favorites right here 
these uh these pink ones these are so nice they give your city a, a little pop of color and i'm actually going to delete this one in the because that looks a little bit out of place but yeah that's that's just looking fantastic so, yeah, so now just putting you know maybe a few more bigger trees kind of in some of the different areas just so this doesn't look so empty And there we go. That looks way better than what it first did. So just a little, taking a little bit of time to kind of detail some of these areas up really makes a big difference. So I always love to do that. And so we'll keep that as is for now and then we'll move on to another area. So the next area that I want to work on is this right here. I kind of want to just leave this as not, not develop it per se, but give it something a little bit more than what it is now. So first I want to remove this oil resource color that's here that's kind of giving this sort of a rough looking ground texture we don't really want that so what i want to do is kind of make a little bit of a path that goes through here just you know maybe like a little bit of a gravel walking trail and then we can kind of uh leave it for now actually you know what i'm gonna go ahead and make it a a uh, bike path because i have these nice bike paths from uh, I think this is a network from Clus or Clus or however you want to say it um, he makes some excellent different kinds of networks so I highly recommend going and checking out his stuff on the workshop and yeah just having a nice little bike path that runs through this little forest here and then with this I might actually just oh, first of all I gotta adjust this to be a little bit higher Keep it out with that And so for now, that'll be a nice little area for us as well. And I think we can actually go ahead and make this a park district because you know what? Why not? It'll add some extra land value for us until we wait till develop that in the future. And, you know, just some nice little trails. So we'll just call this Kabasa Trails. The Kabasa is a percussion instrument. So why not <laughs> for right now? Good enough for me. All right, so now the next thing that I want to do is focus on, I don't know why these oh, crime rate is high. Garbage, now garbage should not be a problem. We definitely have more than enough and the connection is pretty good, I think, to some of those areas. So that'll go away in time. But you know what, that actually begs a good point. The police presence in this city is not very great. So why don't we go ahead and put down another police station as well? I think that will be very, very helpful. And so I have a few of these, um, different kinds of police stations and actually you know what one we should do how about we have this mid-century modern police station that Revo released and oh that's a little bit that's just, that's actually not a bad size but why don't we go ahead and put this one down somewhere over here so I'd like to put my police stations and all of my municipalities you know by a main road but not directly on the main road because they create a lot of cars and a lot of traffic so I think what we'll do is kind of put I'll plop it down here which will remove a couple of those homes but that will be all right because you know it is a city service and these areas might kind of change in the future anyway so right now let's go ahead and put down some uh, different cop cars we want That parking lot fit perfectly right there. So that'll be a nice little parking lot for the police station and for the other uh, commercial zone there. Perfect. And like I said, we will go back through and detail up some more areas of the city as the city develops. But for right now, it's still a little early in my book. I know it's already the uh, eighth episode, but still just too early to, you know, go uh, fully commit to developing some of these areas and detailing them up. So we'll save that for a little bit later. But now, 
I would like to go through. So actually our residential demand is booming. So why don't we go ahead and fill out this area here that I was waiting to develop until a little bit later on. And I think what I might do here is add, yeah, I get, I get, you know what, why not? Yeah, so let's add some high density zones in these couple blocks right there. And then the rest of this will all be low density. Now I wanted to add that high density there just because it's right by some commercial zones. And, you know, I said, I know this is an Italian map and I said that I was gonna maybe take a little bit of in European influence and in city design with this city. And, and the reason that I'm doing that is Typically in America, you know, you'll see there's a, there's a very gradual progression from the downtown and then, you know, very high density area. And then it goes to these really sprawling suburbs and then usually to agriculture or, you know, it, well, yeah, usually to ag agriculture in more uh, rural areas. But what I noticed when I was in Europe um, is that there, there's really not a ton of suburbs in European cities. So for example, uh, fun fact of the day, I always like to do some of these, well, I, in my other videos, not my City Skylines ones, I always like to do a little fun fact about me in the video so that, you know, you guys don't forget that I'm actually a real person. So I want to start doing these in the City Skylines video. So uh, if I forget, remind me to do one and I will uh, mention something, you know, cool about myself or whatever. So uh, fun fact of the day today is I actually studied abroad in Spain for uh, five months when I was in my undergrad. And what was cool about Spain is that the city that I, I studied abroad in Sevilla and a lot of the Spanish cities such as Sevilla, you know, it's there, there's a lack of suburbs and urban sprawl. So it was very much a more dense urban area and then straight to agriculture. There wasn't the big suburban sprawl that you see in the United States, especially like in the Midwest, you know, where like Chicago, for example, I mean, the Chicagoland area is, is you know, comprised of the city and then suburbs that go all the way out into you know western illinois northern illinois and all the way out even in indiana is still considered the uh, chicagoland suburbs so i like I'm, I'm trying to kind of think of you know having some being in this region that we're developing right here where this big mountains are and these these big highways we don't really want to do too much development in uh there's not a lot of room for a ton of urban sprawl so we're gonna have to probably come uh utilize some of these some of the smaller space and really focus on building up our areas and making some use of some high density more compact zoning areas rather than being able to rely on just massive urban expansion or suburban expansion for that matter so yeah so that this is you know we're getting to the point pretty soon where we're going to have to go back and and start and i think in the next episode i want to start doing that maybe going back and uh increasing the density of some of these residential areas that are going to kind of make up the downtown parts of the city, especially over here in this d district right here in these few blocks. But for right now, uh, we're going to keep expanding a little bit and fill in some of these gaps just to make the city look a little bit better. So, but that is all to come. But for now, I want to do something with this area here. And what is coming to my mind, since we have a lot of commercial zones, eventually this river is going to be kind of a centerpiece of the downtown. So what I want to do is put kind of, we're going to develop along this river and maybe, you know, this will be, have a, a big key above it. Apparently that's how it's pronounced. They used to pronounce it quay, but it's definitely key. <laughs> so, so yeah, so for now we're going to leave it, you know, just the natural land, but I, in, in order to kind of get that idea going, I do want to bring kind of put up a high density zone along the river here. So let's go ahead and kind of lay out some of our roads first and see what we're working with. And so for these, I don't mind putting down some of these, uh, these nicer roads with, you know, with the trees. I do like to use these a lot actually, because they have added benefits as opposed to just looking nice They actually do, um, have a, you know, that they increase the happiness of the people in your city. And they also, uh, I believe they help with, noise pollution as well. So that is a win-win in my book. So we're going to use these kind of wherever we can. And the reason I'm leaving a little bit of space here between the river is because I want to be able to, one, I want to put a quay or a key. Sorry, I just pronounced it wrong again. 
um, a key along the river here. And then I also want to leave some space for a, uh, a pedestrian walkway or a bike path. So just kind of thinking about some future development here and what we want this part of the city to look like. I think having pedestrian access in your cities is extremely important, especially when uh, you know you, you have a nice area like like a riverside where people can uh, you know walk and, and you can you know maybe have some different um, little shops or stands or something of that nature. And that's actually something that was done very recently in Chicago. Uh, the old mayor from you know it's been a few years ago at this point, but the old mayor really made an effort to redevelop the there was a river the whole riverside expansion campaign so he kind of made it a mission to redevelop that the 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 river walk and you know now it's really cool because there's a bunch of um little bars and you know people can actually i don't know if you if you if you're from chicago awesome if you're not there's uh the chicago river is a very cool aspect of the city you know it used to be a big industrial waterway and now they've turned it into a centerpiece of the downtown and so along the river you know people will come and drive up from lake michigan in their boats and they'll dock them along you know right on the riverside and and uh go and you know uh drive slash sail slash propel whatever you want to say uh, up to all of the bars and cool little restaurants that are right along the riverside so yeah de definitely a cool aspect of the city and something that i kind of want to mimic in in uh in percussion so I was kind of struggling here to figure out where I want to connect this road because I think if I I didn't want to connect to the main road because that was pretty close to these train tracks and I wanted to avoid having to connect to those train tracks even though later on I think that these train tracks are going to I want to do something different because this is a lot this is probably going to be a busier intersection and I don't want to have all these connection points right here so we'll figure that out later but for now we'll just kind of stick with this yeah so already i'm way happier with how this is looking compared to what i had before so let me just get rid of some of these trees here and then i'm actually going to go ahead and uh, zone this area out and the reason that i want to do that is because one we have some residential demand and two we actually have some pretty high commercial demand as well and we're not going to you know fully developed this yet but at least this will be a nice start and i'm actually going to go ahead as well and change change the uh the zoning for some of these roads i don't really want them to zone along those I'd rather than be on the more um the uh the roads going north to south here i guess for lack of better words <laughs> And no zoning on that road either because this is going to be a main road so i don't want to have a lot of traffic on there I'd like to divert some of the traffic to these other roads and so for now to satisfy some commercial demand we're going to put some commercial zones here and then we're going to put our residential zones along here I thought I was getting a little bit too close to the river for, for what I want to do. So I think I'm going to kind of bring those guys back a little bit. And, uh, we'll, you know, don't want it to be directly in the water. So, yeah, that's looking a lot better, I think. And then once this area develops, we'll be able to see some of the, uh, some of the progress that we've made. All right, cool. So while that area is developing and making a little bit more of a one of our first more high density areas, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and wh whoa, we are making a significant amount of cash. See, see what happens when you leave the game on play? You get pleasantly surprised by the amount of money you make. So <laughs> we're going to keep that going. Um, and then I actually want to go back to this area here. And since this is sort of a, a main road. I want to make this into a 
uh, commercial little square here. I think that would be really cool. Actually, you know what? Instead of having this regular road here, I'm going to go ahead and make this a uh, one of these nice medians. You know what? Actually, this one is cool because it has the tree line. This is one of the road vanilla plus plus road assets. And I like these because these also have parking in addition to uh, having, you know, the, the trees. So that's really nice. Giving a nice little variety in the trees that we use. All right, so while we're at this area, I know I said I wasn't going to do this until the next episode, but I'm just going to do it now so I don't forget. Uh, I do want to go through and make these high density because these are going to be, you know, in a, in a kind of close to a commercial area. And so these will function as some good high density zones. And actually, you know, I think that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never been able to upgrade these zone see, see these zones upgrade a high density unless i actually demolish the residential zone so i'm gonna just do that and then the high density zones will develop but if they do develop naturally i just haven't really seen that happen i'm probably crazy and i'm sure that they do but i guess we'll we'll see how that works and then i'm actually gonna go ahead and upgrade these to some roads since this is a higher density area as opposed to just the suburban streets. So yeah, so we'll let that develop as the demand for that increases, which right now it is very much not. But yeah, so that's a pretty nice expansion that I think we just did there. And now the next thing that I wanna do, like I said I would do in the future, since we also have quite a bit of cash, I do want to go ahead and place down, expand our farming area a little bit and place down uh, the unique factories that we have for the farming industry currently. So the first thing that I wanna do is actually do exactly what I just said and place down that factory. So let me go ahead and connect up this road. We're gonna use a real road here since this is a, um, a more, uh, a, a bigger facility as opposed to just having a small dirt path don't want to really use that at the moment and then actually you know what I think I'm going to sort of make this a little bit of an industrial hub as well so I'm actually gonna continue this so we'll put the factory over here and then I'm actually gonna continue kind of expanding out this these industrial roads and making some room for some additional expansion So having a look at our unique factories, we do have the bakery available. So I'm going to go ahead and place that down right there like so. And then, like I said before, I always do like to have a little bit of a, of a warehouse right nearby so that they can have a place to store their finished goods. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and place down, make this a unique factory products warehouse. Then pretty soon we should start to see the... Uh, the raw materials start coming in. And then yeah, since we do have quite a hefty demand for some industrial zones, I'm gonna go ahead and zone some of that out right here. And I think this might already be a district. If not, then we're gonna make it one. Go ahead with the name Claves planes for now. Claves are another percussion instrument that is oftentimes played incorrectly. So if you don't know what the claves are, go ahead and check them out. Uh, they're a Latin percussion instrument that is used to as an auxiliary percussion instrument. Pretty interesting, you know. They uh, they're used to establish some of the um, very very iconic rhythms in Latin music, and a lot of people, you know, they're they're basically like two sticks and um, they're often held incorrectly. So if you actually want to play them correctly, you have to hold them a certain way to create sort of a pocket of air between your hands. And a lot of people don't know that. So 
thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll let some of this industrial area develop for now. And then as that is developing, I'm going to go ahead and expand out this farmland and make, I kind of want to make a animal pasture because we actually don't have a ton of those in this in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and make this sort of a little more uh, like a bigger animal farm. And then with a the farm field right here, backing up to this industrial area. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool. Our farming area has leveled up. So that is awesome. And since we have that, we can go ahead and make some. I'll clean this tree line kind of around a little bit. Actually, we'll put a nice little fence here around this area since this is sort of a bigger, bigger farming area than we have elsewhere in the city. Actually, you know what I'll do? I like to do this sometimes too, is make sort of a little, uh, little orchard, or, I can't talk, orchard looking area here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what is actually nice about this is that we can so there's actually a mod that is very useful in this. It's called Lock Forestry. So what Lock Forestry does is typically if you put trees around your farm fields, it'll take away from the fertile land area and it'll make, you know, it'll change it to a forestry resource. So it'll take away from the fertile land resource that is needed for your farms. But what Lock Forestry does is it allows you to place the trees down without actually affecting any of the, um, of the fertile land or the resources around it. So that way you can, you know, kind of use trees to border your farmland, just like in, you know, real life, without actually compromising the efficiency of your industrial area. So I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend grabbing that if you actually, uh, if you do use, you know, plan to put down some farms and, you know, like to border them with trees like I do. It's a very, very, uh, in my book, a 100% necessary mod to have. since we have some new buildings here before we wrap up the episode, I do want to keep going ahead and just kind of, you know, building out some of these, some of these uh, industrial areas. Go ahead and make a little milking parlor there. We'll actually leave a nice open area here. Imagining that the, uh, the cattle will be kind of roaming through this, this area. And I also just noticed that one of our landfills is full. I don't want to go ahead and empty that just yet because I want to wait for this one to empty. But what we can do in the meantime is place down one of these super terrible for the environment, but great for our garbage processing um, incineration plants. And yeah, we have so much work to do in terms of getting rid of some of this garbage, but just as a temporary solution until we can you know spend some time on this later i think that's kind of what we're going to need to do which is you know it's okay for now but i'd rather try to figure out something else later that's a little bit better for the uh for the well-being of the citizens but yeah i think this is a great place to stop for now i'm very very happy with what we've done and we've stat we've grown our have a nice little high density area going on over here. So this will be great to expand upon a little bit later as we go back and develop some of this high, higher density zones. And I actually just realized I didn't set the, um, 
high density theme for any of these. So let me go ahead and do that now. Yep. And these guys are all popping up here. But yeah, I'm very happy with what we're how the city's turning out. Actually, way better than I expected. And um, in the next couple episodes, I have a lot of uh, necessary things planned. And it's great that we're finally making a little bit more money. We can afford some of these bigger developments and these bigger infrastructure projects. So yeah, stay tuned to see what's to come because this is going to be a super fun series. And I'm so happy that all of you are enjoying it. And thank you so much for you know, sticking around and checking out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. But in the meantime, have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.